Hey, <laughs> we're, we're live. Yeah. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Excellent. today's stream. Um, little bit of technical difficulty streaming to Twitch, but we'll make sure the links are available for you guys. Um, today, we have a very special guest with us, uh, Michael Wagner from Epilog. Um, he is the CTO. Uh, I don't know how we were able to get some time with him. He's a super busy guy. <laughs> but um, pulls a lot of strings. <laughs> pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy that he's here. Um, he's actually doing a session at GTC talking about um, manufacturing with the metaverse. But I'll let him give you more details on that first. I want to uh, introduce, of course, my co-host. Uh, and good friend, Edmar. <laughs> hey, Thank you, Edmar, Andy. How's it going? <laughs> good. How are you doing? Good. So it's, it's always something that happens. So today, yeah. today's, we tried three times to get started on Twitch. Uh, couldn't get going. So I think there's something on their back end. But no worries. Uh, um, I'm, like I said earlier, I bet you someone, one of our YouTube fans may have had something to do with this. But we'll see. <laughs> um, but uh, on a more serious note, today is super exciting uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, as you know, we, we launched Omniverse Code recently, uh, um, which is a big expansion of, of what Kit was, basically. Um, and uh, with us today, we have a developer who's been working with it for quite some time uh, on both Kit and Code. So he'll be able to tell us what some of the differences are and what he's done. So today you'll be able to learn about how to develop on top of Omniverse. Um, before we get into it, uh, a couple quick things I want to mention is just that uh, we have GTC coming up. And as Wendy just mentioned, Michael will be there uh, giving a great session. And uh, everyone should uh, definitely go check out the GTC page and register. So you get the uh, reminders uh, and you get to see more information about the sessions there. Wendy and I will be hosting our, our user group, our, third, our user group number three, I think. Uh, I'm your, yeah. <laughs> and it, that's going to be so much fun. Um, I'm a, it's one of the better parts of GTC, but I'm a little biased. Um, yeah. It, no. it's, it's super fun. Um. <laughs> it's going to be great. So it's going to be on Thursday. So it's going to be kind of uh, similar to what we did last time, I think, where it'll be kind of a wrap up of all the GTC talks and uh, we'll kind of give an uh, overview of the announcements. So it should be a lot of fun. We're going to highlight some users in the community. Uh, we have a new Omniverse ambassador and an additional ambassador, a second one that's going to be announced. Uh, so super exciting. So uh, go ahead to nvidia.com slash GTC to register. Um, and then obviously, if you're creating content, uh, whether it's de developer like Michael or you're a creator artist and you want to show off your stuff, we have the Omniverse Gallery. Uh, so if you uh, just do search for Omniverse Gallery page, you'll find it right away and you can submit it. And we would love to see what you all are working on. We would love to share it, promote it. And of course, you can always put it on social media and tag it with um, Made in Omniverse and we will uh, we'll see it there too. But uh, uh, always a big motivation and inspiring thing for us to see people's work in Omniverse. So, so keep that coming. Um, so as Wendy said, we have a couple of uh, fantastic guests. So obviously Michael Wagner, but we also have someone else very special here today. Uh, yes. I, I, I asked Michael, I said, you know, um, if you were to pick someone in NVIDIA who you work closely with, um, uh, uh, who would that be? And then we can invite them to live stream. And uh, right away, he said, Teresa. Uh, so Teresa, welcome. Hello, Hi, thank you. Thank you. Hello, uh, very, very happy to be here. Uh, and one thing that it's quite funny to share as well is that a lot of times the NVIDIA people are spread across the globe. So actually, I think this was the first time, today was the first time that I talked directly with Wendy and Edmar, yes. probably face to face. <laughs> so it's, it's super fun to be here and thanks for inviting us, uh, me. And, yes. wh and wh what is your role in NVIDIA? So I am a solution architect, uh, which means that I work a lot with companies and, and partners and customers like uh, Michael from Epilog to integrate our technologies. Uh, so it's quite fun. It's been quite fun. I work a lot with Omniverse uh, lately. Uh, my main background is actually on the robotic side, but lately I've been working a lot with Omniverse. And it's super fun also to see how different uh, people and, and, and companies uh, want to integrate Omniverse. There's very different broad uh, use cases. So it's it's been fun, also a very good learning process for me. So happy to also share a little bit of, of that. So we actually have a lot of robotics fans in the community. Our eyes extremes yeah. are, are, they're begging for a follow-up one. So <laughs> trying to get those folks back on. 
Um, okay, so now, so Michael, um, I'm very happy to have you here today for many reasons. Uh, one, we've been talking for a while. You have a, you have a blog coming out that uh, that you worked on with some of your work. Uh, explained, you've been uh, prolific on Medium, uh, posting about some of your work uh, in in and out of Omniverse. Um, I think if people don't recognize you by your company's name, they probably recognize you by some of the work you've done because uh, some of the work you've done has been showcased around the globe um, and uh, Omniverse and the uh, factory digital twin that uh, BMW has been working on. Uh, so you're going to show some of that stuff today. Yeah, um, yeah. But can you tell me a little bit about, oh, and I think we have another special guest here from NVIDIA. So I'll let, oh, I'll let there we go. <laughs> it's going to be a party. So, uh, so Michael, tell me, before we get into your company, which we want to definitely dive into, uh, can you tell me a little bit about your background as, as a developer? Oh, I'm a computer scientist. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I did, um, started off at, at uh, um, Mercedes uh, research, so uh, I was into uh, virtual reality like uh, from the early early nineties, uh, and 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 uh, dealing with uh, uh, virtual environments and, and uh, distributed uh, worlds. Uh, that that's uh, always uh, interesting for me and, and, and driving me. So so it's really uh, cool now that that uh, with the Omniverse you've, you've got like this uh, global approach uh, and. and uh, yeah, I got into that and uh, played around uh, with it initially. And uh, yeah, uh, whenever I wanted to to to, uh, to know something, uh, I asked Teresa. So I, uh, uh, that's why I told you that. So so it's really great. Uh, yeah, to to um, yeah, have you guys. Then that's, that's awesome. That's, and then nice. and then uh, and then so your company. Epilog, tell me about that because it's it's actually not a small company. It's not a one or two person team. It's it's pretty pretty big. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, like uh, around uh, fifty people. Um, uh, we are based in, in Germany. Um, I've I've got a little picture. I don't know uh, if you want to show it uh, right now, um, but but uh, uh, afterwards as well. Um, so yeah. Um, we're basically working with uh, in the automotive industry. Uh, we've got um, software for uh, material provisioning and, and uh, logistics planning. Um, yeah, our customers are like in the, in the automotive industry, and one of our biggest uh, is uh, BMW. And we yeah we we like yeah, to work with them yeah, because um, yeah actually it's uh, like a very complex environment with lots of so you like a challenge. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. If it works for them, it works for everybody. So that that's um, that's a good thing, you yeah. know. Oh, that, that's amazing. Uh, and, and welcome, Cone. Am I pronouncing your name correctly? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Hello. Welcome. So, so, uh, so, those who don't remember, uh, you joined us last week on live stream uh, where we talked mm -hmm. about the launch of Omniverse Code, which is uh, which is a super informative, uh, lots, lots of great chatter and excitement in the community. Uh, so, thank you for joining us. Feel free to jump in at any point today. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and with that, uh, so Michael, I'm going to kind of hand it off to you to kind of show us some of the magic of developing uh, on the Omniverse platform. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll let they show uh, do you see the screen yet yes excellent so so yeah uh, here, here you see some of my colleagues uh, uh, great team and, and um, um, yeah, um, um, the developers um, um, engineers uh, and uh, yeah um, we are developing together this uh, this software epolog um, as I said it's it's uh, um, yeah, used in the automotive industry um, for yeah, uh, planning where to put the material and, and optimize uh, logistics and, and all these kind of things. And and uh, I've brought the, the for those who haven't seen it yet uh, a little video from uh, from the last GTC, um, uh, and uh, I just uh, let it play, and um, that you uh, can see uh, some parts uh, are uh, from from us. Um, uh, from our software, and uh, we, we also created like a, an omniverse uh, a connector and, and some uh, extensions. Uh, and um, yeah, as you as you can see, that's that's the environment um, we're we're planning into. So a very complex uh, environment with lots of uh, machines, and and um, and here you see um, 
I uh, just sub it. And this is our domain, basically. Uh, these uh, these racks and and the, the material boxes. And this is uh, like an assembly line where, where the workers are putting um, yeah these these uh, machines together. And so um, we um, plan uh, um, how where to put the things. Do we have enough space? Uh, how many? Uh, um, uh, miles to a worker have to work. Um, we simulate it, and, and yeah, so so the planners get a, a better um, um, idea of what how, how the factory then be, will behave uh, later. So so that's basically the the uh, the uh, environment. And um, as you can see, like there, are, yeah, super complex uh, um, environment. Um, if you uh, if you think. Um, uh, at, at, a, at a normal car factory, you've got around um, um, yeah 1,500 cars uh, each day uh, output. So uh, and you have to uh, bring every part of the car to the place where it's actually needed. So so uh, at one day, you know, you've got 160,000 different uh, transport orders. So so that's really a complex environment, and you have to uh, yeah everything has to. To, to be at the place where it has to be at the right time. And, and so that's a um, super um, interesting uh, area for, for the software as well. So the rack, so these racks that you designed, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I could, you could tell in the video that they're kind of like, not loosely placed, but they're not on tracks or anything. They're, they're on wheels, right? Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're different. Uh, Approaches. Um, there are also these autonomous robot vehicles, uh, which we'll show in, in the this GTC. So here uh, you, you haven't seen it a little, but uh, in the parts you, you'll see probably some some uh, robots driving around delivering these racks. Uh, and, uh, so yeah, um, yeah, that that would be fun as well. So, but, um, and and um, so. Um, if we've got, uh, and that's what, what I wanted to show, show uh, here actually for the developers. I, I hope there are developers uh, like um, in, in, uh, in the audience. Uh, uh, so so um, what, what we actually did was like at the left, you see our software, that's eProdoc, that's uh, for the planner, right? Um, um, not too um, graphically um, intensive. Um, and on, on the right, uh, you see um, the, the, the Create from a kit um, application, right? And it's nice the ray trace and, and all. And we created this uh, omnibus connector using the uh, the client library um, C plus plus. That's a C plus plus application, right? And and so um, that was basically the first thing to 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 transmit our data to the omnibus to the nucleus. And uh, and also what you see here uh, is a live connection. So so as uh, as uh, the the user moves uh, the, the 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 box here. Uh, you've, you've got a live connect, and and uh, accordingly the, the the box is um, is moved here as well. Um, I, ah, yeah, now now I'm moving uh, that direction, right? And and uh, um, the, the box on the other side moves as well. So that's um, good for collaboration. Or yeah, um, let's see. The that was the first uh, thing we we actually did, uh, and um, uh, this development is also. Pretty nice. You can you can you get the the, the, the the example and and can just start off right right off. So it was really really nice to to develop. So uh, uh, mm -hmm. was, so the first step was building the connector. If I understand. Yeah. Okay. And how how involved was that for your team specifically? Is that was that uh, challenging? Because we have connectors with lots of different apps now, and people want to make their own connectors. So what can you share on that process? It's, uh, that's straightforward. Um, there is some uh, sample, uh, the, the connector sample in the, um, in the, in the launcher. Um, where is it? Uh, you guys can help me out. Probably your connector is connect sample, yeah. only was connected, you see? And, and you go, you just start off from, from there. Um, there is also uh, what I like, uh, uh, CMake uh, helper uh, to integrate it with a C a CMake, we are CMake based projects. Uh, so straightforward and, 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 and you're, uh, you're ready to go. And uh, the, um, yeah, there is some sample code and, and yeah, it's, it's, if you're into C++ and, and um, no, no, no rocket science, I'd, I'd say. Okay, we have one, one, one question uh, came in from 
a watcher, we had, how did you run it on the GPU cluster? What was the size of your cluster? Oh, that, uh, we, we don't, uh, that's actually um, not a cluster, it's just the, 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 the workstation. So, and, and uh, that's uh, another thing uh, um, that well, what we are also getting into, uh, these, kit, uh, these kit extensions uh, will show, uh, they're not only extensions for the, the, the kit uh, environment, but also uh, you can run kit services and you, you run them on, on, on clusters. So, so that's really a neat, uh, neat thing to do. Um, I, I can show after uh, in, later on. Great, thank oh, you. That's an, yeah. mm -hmm. So, so they, the connector is one thing, and as I, as I mentioned, uh, the other thing is uh, the uh, writing extensions. So um, as you see here, uh, um, we've transferred our racks and, and boxes uh, to, the, uh, yeah, to the nucleus, uh, but we, we, we also put like uh, our meta information to the, uh, to the elements, so that uh, it's not just dump geometry, but, uh, but a smart object, basically. You know? uh, we, we, uh, as a planner, I have to know what's inside this box, uh, what's this kind of rack, um, uh, what's the, the ID, and, and there's all kinds of metadata embedded into the, the, the actual uh, item. And so the first uh, extension uh, I wrote uh, was an extension to, to get this metadata out. Uh, and and uh, as you can see here, um, I'm selecting uh, um, the, uh, this box, for example, and it, it grabs the metadata and says, okay, here, um, um, what's in the box? and, and there are some yeah, um, specifics for, for the logistic side from our software. Uh, and we can just put in and, and get it out again uh, as we like. And, and these extensions are just, just uh, super easy to, to, um, to write. And uh, I've also done a, a little uh, tutorial on, on how to do that. And, um, yeah, see, see um, as, we, as we select. Um, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's just putting out the data. And yeah, um, that's, uh, that, these are basically the two things uh, we, we do. Um, and, and now these uh, kit services, are, and, and you can do like, this is a big playground for, for me as a, as a developer. It's, it's so, so nice, you, you can just try out things and, and you're quick and, and this whole reload functionality we, we see afterwards. Um, that's that's just just a nice environment, I'd say, to to develop. Well, you, you guys want to? <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's, that's great. great. Yeah. Well, I'm 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 watching mm -hmm. all the smiles from the Nvidia team, so it seems like uh -huh. they are very impressed with your uh, your uh, you know the, the way you're using Omniverse and what you like about it. I think they're hitting all the main points that we want developers to kind of you know be aware of. I love of. how he calls it a playground because that's how it feels to me. Like uh, yeah, <laughs> just like yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, it, I didn't mean yeah, to cut you yeah. off. <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask. Uh, do I see? 